What's going on everybody? Dylan here with Espresso Outlet. Today we are going to be looking at how to froth milk on uh, pretty much any espresso machine. They all pretty much use the same exact technique. Some take a little bit slower, some are a lot faster, and then you get some that are kind of in the mid-range, which I am using the Rocket R58 here, and this machine is probably about 35 seconds, which I would say is mid-range due to um, it being a kind of home machine. Uh, now the commercial machines are about, I would say, give or take six to eight seconds long from start to finish. And then uh, you get machines like the Breville Barista Expresses, which are around like a minute and 15 seconds. Learn the proper technique for aeration and to uh, incorporate that air uh, with the second part of frothing milk. So the goal here is to get a nice, silky, creamy-like texture, kind of like wet paint. And this is going to really allow you to um, get that creaminess and also get that really nice uh, contrast and get some really nice pours when doing latte art, which is why milk steaming is important. Uh, milk steam is also important because you can make a milk drink taste super creamy, super sugary without adding any kind of sugar. Um, however, if you do uh, scold the milk and you add too much air, it can make the espresso not be as highlighted as much. So uh, today I'm going to just do a live uh, video of me frothing milk and then I will go back over and touch back on points and I will demonstrate and explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it uh, throughout the video. All right, so on the left, you're gonna notice that air is gonna be added a little bit too quick, which is gonna put a lot of bubbles. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it puts a lot of bubbles in the pitcher and it really increases the volume at a pretty quick pace, um, which is gonna make it hard to get the rest of the aeration included. Um, and it's also going to make it to where it is uh, super hard to incorporate that milk foam. But on the right hand side, you're gonna notice that we added a good amount of air. And the nice thing about that is we added air slowly and but quick in the phase. And starting out when you add air, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna go very slow. You're gonna get that paper tearing sound. And then once you get done, you're gonna be able to incorporate that microphone very nicely to where that texture looks like wet paint and it's going to be super silky smooth, creamy and nutty with the finish. All right, so we're just gonna take a look at it again from a different angle. Um, just notice on both sides, uh, as I talked about in the other video, uh, just see how aeration goes into both of them. Um, see how quickly the one on the left is rising more than the one on the right. Um, and then just see how I'm incorporating all of those microphone bubbles um, in the end result. 